Hello guys and welcome to another video. This is Lyakura's Moments and on this video we're gonna test how we can use a keyboard and a mouse instead of our controller on our Xbox Series S console. And of course this is gonna work for the Xbox Series X as well. Let's start! Who need the controller if you cannot even make one kill on Warzone? So if you're a PC gamer like me and you're trying to transition to a console, this thing here will feel like an alien object in the beginning because it takes time to get used to it. And especially on FPS game it will be impossible to aim properly. So the best thing to do instead of destroying it, <laughs> throwing it to the wall or something, is to put to your Xbox console a keyboard and a mouse. and problem solved, I suppose. Let's see. So for today's video I'm gonna use a mouse and a keyboard from Razer and I have made a separate video about both of these two products that you can find in the description below. Okay, let's insert the mouse and the keyboard and see if we can play games. Let's go. I insert the keyboard in the back of the console and the mouse in the USB port in the front. Just keep in mind that the Xbox Series S and the X unfortunately have only three USB ports. So, if you plan using more than three devices, that could be an issue. For example, now I'm using the keyboard, the mouse, and I have also the external hard drive. So, if I wanted to use a headset or another device, for example, that will be a limitation. I haven't checked how good a USB expansion hub works with Xbox, but with a quick research on Google and forums, it seems works fine. And also there are some keyboards that have USB ports that you can insert your mouse, for example, and that could work as well. When you insert the keyboard and the mouse, there is no message or any kind of installation on the Xbox. And as you can see, the mouse cannot work on the main menu, but we can move around on the Xbox menu with the arrow on our keyboard. The enter button is the select button and the escape is to go back. If we go here to the settings and to device and connection, we can find a mouse option. There we can change the pointer speed, but in order to check it, you will need to open a game or a supported app. And there is also an option to switch primary and secondary mouse button for the left handed. Alright, let's go back and see how we can play with our keyboard and mouse and I will open and play the Warzone. By opening the game, you will need still to use the controller like here to press the A button after the mouse sensor appear and you can use it to navigate. I will choose just training here so we can check it first. At first mouse and keyboard didn't respond and I didn't find any settings to change that. So I just turned off the controller and a notice came out to reconnect or go to main menu to change to keyboard and mouse. I went to main menu and second notice pop up and it said to reconnect the controller or switch to keyboard and mouse control scheme. I clicked on the switch to keyboard and mouse and I load a map again. This time all worked perfectly, now I can actually aim properly guys, but still I need to get used to it and find the perfect sensitivity for me. I didn't manage to get a kill online, but at least I played with some bots to get used to the game. Online they just destroy me. So the question now is, can we play all the games with keyboard and mouse? According to the Xbox support page, it says that the Xbox supports the use of mouse and keyboard in some games and apps, and it doesn't work for all content. The game or the app publisher must enable this feature for their content. So don't expect all the games to be supported to play with keyboard and mouse. The list actually started very small in 2018 with only Fortnite, Minecraft and Warframe and slowly slowly it's increasing. I was very disappointed when I checked Battlefield 4 and as I saw it does not support keyboard and mouse. What? What the fuck? And Battlefield it's FPS game. I mean this is the reason I want the Xbox. Same. And even PUBG does not support keyboard and mouse. I couldn't find anything in the settings in both games. I believe shooting games should definitely have the support for keyboard and mouse, but now it's up to developers if they want to allow to enable that option. But things improving with over 50 games supporting mouse and keyboard right now. 
Some titles that you might be interested playing with keyboard and mouse is Gears of War 5, Gear Tactics, Halo Master Chief Collection, DayZ, Metro Exodus, Roblox, The Sims 4, Sniper Elite V2, World of Tanks, Zombie Army 4, City Skylines and many others. I will definitely make a video with the top games to play with keyboard and mouse on your Xbox so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss that video. And you can see all the games that support keyboard and mouse on your Xbox in the description below. Also keep in mind that some of those games only feature limited support which means that they might require a controller to progress over the menus before start playing that we had also on Warzone. Alright and now question for you, will you use a mouse and a keyboard on your Xbox? What games would you play with your mouse and the keyboard and what do you think about it? There is a big conversation if gamers with mouse and keyboard will have a clear advantage on aiming on shooting games comparing the ones that use a controller, don't you think? So let me know in the comment section below about your opinion, I really wanna see what Xbox users think. Alright guys, if you find this video helpful, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe for more videos like this. I wish you a great rest of the day and until next time guys, let's make moments we can never forget.